This video will show you how to set up your Schoology gradebook. On any page in your course, click on the gradebook um, link in the left nav bar and then click on grade setup. We'll begin by adding categories. You must create at least one category. So even if you want everything all lumped together, which is fine, just create a category named everything. I recommend fewer categories rather than more categories as this will simplify grade calculation. Assignments or homework and quizzes may be all you need. Some teachers like a participation category or a discussion category, um, but again, fewer categories is better. I, based on my experience with other teachers, I recommend no more than three or four categories. This course has two categories listed, assignments and discussions. Let's add another one. So we'll type the uh, name of the category. And then you have a choice between points and percent, and I recommend points. You have a choice to drop the lowest uh, one or two items in this category or more, as you can see. And then once you've done those, click the blue Create button. So now we have three categories here. You can choose to weight categories. So check that box and then you'll get, Schoology will just randomly put up some uh, weights. And you can see that in the percentage area, this adds up to 100%. So when you're adjusting the, um, the weight here, they're always in relationship to one another. So I could do that and this. And then you can see the percentages reflect adding up to 100%. So I like to go ahead and make this weight category also add up to 100%. Just makes more sense to me. So if I did that, now um, the weights and the percentages all add up to 100%. You also choose a favorite category. So you um, by clicking on one of the stars, and that makes that default category for your, um, when you create new materials. So I choose assignments because that's what I create the most, most often. And that way it'll automatically become an assignment. I can always change it though when I'm creating a new uh, material, I can always change the category. You can always come back and change your favorite category at any time. In the grading period and final weights area, you'll see your, um, your grading periods for your course. This course is open, but yours will be fall 2016 and spring um, 2017. The weights should both be 100 because our two semesters don't average together. In the final grade settings, um, choose the scale. So click that to um, see what scales are available. And I recommend the A to F grade scale with no plus or minus. We created that scale since our report cards don't um, have plus or minuses. So that should match that. And then I would check around uh, the final grade. I would check hide overall grades from student reports. The Schoology default is to average grades from fall and spring semesters. Since we do not do that, checking this box will prevent that overall grade from showing on student reports. And so it's really important to check this so it's not confusing to students. I recommend you do not check the grade override options here. If you do so, um, it'll create extra columns in your gradebook that take up space on your screen. If you decide you want a, a column for overriding grades, you can always come back and add that later. So let's move back to the top of um, the screen over to the right and look at the scales and rubrics area. Choose numeric as your favorite by clicking on the star. This will default your assignments, but you can always change to a different scale or rubric within the assignment. Choosing a favorite simply saves you one step as you create assignments. So note that the numeric scale is what you use for your daily assignments and daily work, but the final grade setting you want to use the A to F grade scale. Finally, scroll down to the bottom and click the blue Save Changes button. 
So now let's scroll back up to the top of the, of the page. Once you've done this, made your uh, grade set up for one of your courses, you can copy all these settings to your other course or courses. Click on the Copy Settings button. And note that these items are already checked, the categories, grading, scales, and rubrics. And then scroll through here and check mark the course or courses that you want to copy these selections to and then click Copy. And your um, course settings will be, uh, your grade settings will be saved to your other courses.